All right, what is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to our wife Abel from yours truly, the Scarender. And today we're going to begin Isaac, who are um, um, Reddit Reddit battler, and uh, we tried to be like he wasn't necessarily that competent or that competent, that knowledgeable about um, smoke guns. We'll see what happens. But it's look about right. This is a solo. This is a solo ghost team. That's incredible. So he clearly had some idea, and I think that's really cool. That's gonna like my hit point is gonna be absolutely wasted, here, isn't it? Um, more Pico is gonna have a fun time if I pull that off, right? But also, Goldark looks to be just about right. Um, but consider hit Lee's viability is among the most shaken viabilities I got right now. Um, I guess we'll lead off with that and sack it. I mean, it's the absolute sack play of a lifetime, and uh, there is nothing I can do about it. I need somehow to get more Pico to work, and that's gonna be like the aim of this game. Uh, Mars Shadow, if it you know gets in freely, it wins because it is a Mars Shadow. But besides that, I'm feeling confident. Ish. <laughs> nah, it's gonna work right. What the worst? What is the worst they can do, right? Let's see. Leads off with Gengar. We can quake this guy. We should quake this guy. Don't be on the blue. Come on. Ah, bit on the sharpest side here, yeah, don't we? Oh, yeah. Worst fake out of a lifetime, you know. You pull that slot only to really, really get the cold shoulder from the game. Oh, wait, we are faster. That's. That's weird. And that is. That is not good. Hypnosis, didn't connect. Um, um, I mean, what what can I do now? Hyp hypnosis was really strange, never never saw that one. Like, poison jab shouldn't do anything. It clearly took that hit, so it has to be, something must be up. Um, setting my specs, wheezing, and uh, I don't know, like, Sludge Bomb will still do a lot of damage to us, even though it's neutral. Keeps Hypnosin, still missing, because it's still 50% after all. And uh, I'll lock myself into Thunderbolt, because he resists everything else. He didn't have a ground type, I believe. He had Frost Last, which was kind of annoying. Um, you don't see Hypnosis that often, and uh, here's why. Here's absolutely why. <laughs> okay, cool. Gengar's out. Really surprised it didn't start attacking. I guess he wanted that leeway. That hypnosis is just one of those things. Like, you don't. I get it, but you don't. I was really thinking this was a disable set. Because body would work. And clearly Black Sludge here was uh, nice. Nice, awful, was it? As he shone the door. Um... <laughs> one of those really, really weird spots where, <laughs> basically, if I lose Weezing, I probably lose it all. So I'm setting back Mali. Like eventually, I, I just want to free switch into something <laughs> somehow. And um, if he goes for a Will O Wisp, that's fine. To keep quaking it. Ah, oh, this is this is wonderful. Ouch! Thank you for that. Um, I did say it was a sack anyway, but yeah, that, that, that was great. Um, let's see, Cramorant is kind of nice, isn't it? You can surf freely here, we're clearly threading him. And unless it's Scarfed, I'm actually probably able to kill this guy. And that's always nice. We'll see what happens. Unless it's Scarf, we're faster, and Cramorant should absolutely be able with Surf to knock it out. He just stay in, which is um, okay. Um, yeah, that's that was weird, wasn't it? If Marshall comes in here, I'm absolutely gonna endure it because <laughs> there's no way I'm taking that hit anyway. Yeah, there we go. Um, or could I take? No, I'm absolutely not able to take one of those hits. 
And so it goes for the rest of my team, really. I am so enduring this. For full HP, let's endure. <laughs> Strat of a lifetime. Let's see. Fun to punch. Yeah, that was the right idea. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Endure that hit like a boss. Mm. Take that, you foul bean. Look at that. Kramer all this zoo and things. Um. Yeah, we can't just sack this guy, aren't we? Can I endure again? No, I can't. Ugh. This is not a great sign. Ah, Golar's gotta go. If I were him, I'd probably be dumb. No, I shouldn't say dumb. I'd probably go for um, close combat or thunder punch again. If he goes for ghost move, I mean that's clearly good. Ah, cool, wonderful. Um, I got enough on this guy now. I will have. I mean, the ghost move probably knocks us out. But we go for a quake here, trying to get as much damage as possible. Spectral thief. There we go. That's gonna absolutely kill me. Yeah, cool. Wonderful. Luckily, I didn't have any boosts. So we see Thunder Punch and we've seen um, Spectral Thief. Should have close combat, and usually these guys carry like bulk up. We'll see. one more time. Get some Rocky Helmet Damage. Thunder Punch. Whack. I don't like this situation. But, yeah. I mean, I kind of have to sack now. Like, yeah, I could probably hope for the best, but I think I will him down good enough. I think. Cramorant did it like that. That was like really, really putting that Pokemon down. Um, so, right, we sing and we go for the strange steam. Since. Well, what did. Let's see, what did he have left? We should be able to take a lead as a special thief, I think. Um, let's see, he got. Oh, yeah, Aegis Lash is still kicking. That's wonderful. Does he does he decide to sack it though? He actually does. Granted, if I survive this, that is. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It is one of those days. It just works. Strange steam. Take this, foul fiend. And uh, now it is um, a new type of dialogue that I'm not that accustomed to, which is what do I do about Aegis Slash and why? <laughs> I'm feeling more why in that dialogue. I'll, I'll be honest. There we go. Um, the way I see it, I have a good chance of getting him confused. He's not very effective, sure, but uh, I can get him confused. And we get to see whether or not he's special. Most of them kind of are on the special side, aren't they? Let's see... Confusion! No, but he does decide to attack. To his blade form and psycho cut. You never see that. And also, you know, consider our head. I'm just saying, that's kind of a weird play. Um, oh, I don't have that many mods left. That's gonna be wonderful. Um, okay. The way I see it... He should be King Shield now, trying to take a hit. Or he will be able to take a hit. Shadow Sneak, that's... That's unfortunate. Oh, that was a crit too, so I guess that's alright. Um, still though. Still though. We're not out of the woods yet. Wish I could have bug bust here, but I need to Thunderbolt. 
I keep shadow sneaking. Don't crit this time, at least. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So I believe the Sidroy comes in, and we have no recovery, because this is the Vega Vault from before Generation 7, or after Generation 7, I should say. But it isn't Gen 5 Vega Vault, which would have roofs. And dual stab, but no. Pick the wrong one. Or didn't necessarily pick the wrong one, but rather messed that up. Not to say this Pokemon isn't bad, but um, our bit of our prediction, and here we are. <laughs> so I am putting my soul in more Pico right now. Right now, I need a bug bus to do as much damage as possible on um, the CGI. And um, yeah, because the CGI is the natural Pokemon to come in. So, the buggy bus. Oh, and all this Frost Moth. I was gonna say Frost Last left. So, we maybe have a chance. Let's see. Bug bus. Eee, that's alright. Really unfortunate throat spray since it's activated before the attack. Let's see. Spirit Shackle. And I believe that's. You know, it is what it is. But, we have one cool opportunity up our sleeve. And that is, well, first and foremost, more Pico need to protect. But, um, I'm feeling this one. Hello. Hello, young friend. Are you here to be Sackley? Because I need to protect. We'll see what he decides to do. Um, he does decide to stay in, so I guess that's good. Leaf Storm, cool! I want nothing of that, and now, now you made me hangry. So we gotta get our speed boost, and it's whether or not that's enough for the Frostlass. At least we get the Aura off, which is gonna be absolutely demolishing this Decidueye. And we have another situation which is also, I shouldn't say annoying, but rather um, this Frost Rod could first and foremost be Focus Sashed, and the other one is he could be pulling punches and actually go for Dynamax just to uh, really snag the win. I trust you, Isaac, to do the right thing, but I have no idea what that is. Or it could debond, um, but if that's the case, then I think I win anyway. So we protect here, we'll see what he decides to do. If he goes for Dynamax, I'm actually gonna follow that route myself. He doesn't. Good, goody, goody, goody. This is a man. A blizzard. Yeah, this is this is the man actually. Um, I'm very unsure if I can survive a blizzard of all the things. Let's find out. Or a wheel. Come on, or a wheel. Ooh, it wasn't sashed. Cool, cool. We got ourselves to win then. So Mono Ghost, I'll give him that. Even though it was a Mars Shadow involved, this was this was really cool to see. Um, I think if you play Mono teams, that uh, you should have some liberties of actually be using Ubers. And since it wasn't that well routed in Smogon, you know what? I'll give him you know a tip of a hat as I believe he did very well. Um, if I were to question one thing, I'd probably say that risking Mars Shadow, I probably wouldn't sack that Pokemon myself, as it clearly eats me alive, like most teams. Or most Mars Shadow eats my team alive. That's why it's banned from <laughs> Spoken OU. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this ep or episode battle, and you know, clearly, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, of course, as always, take care everyone.